a printing press depreciates continuously at 8% continuously at 8% per year so this is a very important phrase something is depreciating decreasing in value continuously at the rate of 8% per year the partic a particular press costs 350000 how long will it take before the printing press is only worth 200,000. Now this is a question of differential equation. There's a formula. Uh, let me write the formula. If you don't understand differential equation, the formula is P, say P is the price or the value, is P sub naught times e to the power RT. This is a formula can be used for anything which is increasing or decreasing at a uh, continuously uh, at a particular rate. Now R is the rate of interest. So you can say rate as decimal, rate of interest, rate of interest as decimal. So this is a formula. So I'll explain this formula for those who want to know how this formula comes. This is from a differential equation. So 8% as a decimal is 0 0.08. It also makes sense here. Yeah? Uh, P0 is the initial price. Is the initial price. Okay, so let me do without proving it. So let's use this formula. And uh, we want to find how long, how long will it take before the, uh, when the, pr uh, the price of the, uh, printing press becomes 200,000. So the first situation that we know is, so we can write this now like this, P is equal to P sub naught times e to the power 0 0.08t. Okay, where e is a number, e is a constant. The first information that we have is when t is 0, when t is 0, the price or the value of the printing press is 350,000. So let's put this in this equation. So we can say 350,000. 350,000 is equal to P sub naught times e to the power 0 0.08 times 0. So we can say, well, this is 350,000 is equal to P to the power 0 because this is going to be 1 any number raised to 0, this is e to the power 0, and e to the power 0 is 1. Okay, you should know this, that any number raised to 0 is 1. So p sub naught is 350,000, and that's what we say, that p sub naught is the initial value. So let me use a different color now. So well, we can say this equation changes to p is equal to 350,000, 350,000, times e to the power 0 0.08, 0 0.08t. So now is the next question. What's the time when p is 200,000? So now the question is, what is p? Uh, not, not sorry, what is t? So we want to find the time. The question is, what is t? Or how long will it take? For the price or the value of the printing press to become 200,000. So let's put this in this equation. So this becomes 200,000 200, is equal to 350,000 times e to the power 0 0.08t. So dividing both sides by 350,000, we can say 200,000 divided by 350,000 is equal to e to the power 0 0.08t. So this four zeros gets cancelled. So this is, this is four seven. So you can divide both by five, 20 divided by five is four. 
and 35 divided by 5 is 7. So 4 7th is equal to e to the power 0 0.08t. So now taking natural log of both sides, so you can say natural log of 4 divided by 7 is equal to natural log of e to the power 0.08t. Okay, let me scroll up. So we can say, well, this is natural log of 4 divided by 7 is equal to, using the log rule, I can say this is 0.08t times natural log of, natural log of e. Okay, natural log of e has a base of e, so this is going to become 1. So we can say natural log of 4 divided by 7 divided by 0 0.08, 0 0.08 is equal to t. Okay, now the only uh, mistake, uh, the change that I have to make is the rate of, uh, as this is de depreciation, I should put a negative here because it is depreciating. So the rate has to be negative. So this will change. So this will change to, this is neg this should be negative, this should be negative. Then only you will get a sensible answer. So divided by, so this should be negative, negative, negative. So your T is natural log of four divided by seven divided by 0 0.08. Okay, so go to the calculator, natural log of 4 divided by 7 divided by negative 0 0.08, which will give you 6.99. It's almost 7 years. So this is 6.995 or 99. So you can say that is about 7 years. In 7 years, the value of the printing press will become 200,000 or less. Okay, so <clears throat> now those who want to understand the proof of this, let me explain this. Okay, so anything that is changing, suppose let's say dp by dt, dp by dt, where p is the price or the value, is equal to, is proportional, so let me show you, let me explain like this is proportional to the price, is proportional to the price. And when you remove the proportionality sign, you have to put a constant, and you can say dp by dt, dp by dt is equal to my plus or minus, so let's say in this case, it should be minus r times t. So when you're removing proportionality sign, you have to put a constant, and this is the rate of interest, which is negative, because there is depreciation. Uh, okay, sorry, I made a mistake again here. Yeah, it should be uh, RP, not T, because you're removing the proportionality signs, so you have to put a constant, and this constant is your rate of change. Now dividing, so I can say this is same as DP by P, dividing both sides by P and multiplying both sides by DT is equal to minus r dt. So now we're taking integration, integration of 1 over p dp is equal to minus r integration of dt. And this is natural log of p is equal to minus rt. So now e has a, natural log has a base of e. So writing this in the log form, I can say modulus of p is e to the power, uh, I should put a constant here, because I've integrated, you have to put a constant of integration. Uh, e to the power minus rt plus c. Now this, you can remove the absolute value because p is going to be always positive. It can be negative though. So let's put p as the price of the value is equal to e to the power minus rt times e to the power c. Now e to the power c is a constant, okay? And uh, so this can be written as p0. And this is your uh, initial value. So this is a formula. 
P is equal to P sub naught times e to the power minus RT. If, this is for depreciation and if it is appreciation, this is for depreciation. If something depreciates, you can use this formula. This is for depreciation. But if something is appreciating, so let me use blue color for appreciation. The formula is the same. P is equal to P sub naught times e to the power RT, where R is positive. The formula is the same. For depreciation, you put P sub naught times e to the power minus RT. And for appreciation, it would be P sub naught times e to the power RT.